Well, I did it. I finally joined modern civilization. Hey guys, it's Jen. It is late 2021. I am 39 years old. And for the first time in my life, I have purchased an iPhone. A few years back, I did a video. So I have a bit of a confession and that is that I have never purchased an iPhone. I know all you Gen Zers are like, is she kidding? And no, I'm not kidding. Even though the iPhone has been out since like what, I think 2007 or so, correct me if I'm wrong, I have never purchased one. I remember when they first came out, I was like, okay, that's ridiculous. The company Apple that makes computers and stuff, they're gonna make phones. And I remember telling somebody at the time, I, I will never buy one of those, I'm not interested. And for a long time, I got away with not getting one. When they were first introduced, I remember you could only get an iPhone if you had AT&T. At the time, I think I had, I might've had Cricket Wireless. I'm always one of those low key carrier people. So before I had this phone, we were on Republic Wireless, which is this low cost carrier for a, like ever. I remember at first Republic Wireless was unlimited everything. And I, I wanna say it was like $15, but over time they've done the price creep thing. I was paying $25 a month for two gigabytes of data. That's pretty small with everything that's happened with phone tech and we were looking for a change. So even though that's a pretty cheap price to begin with, I was looking for somebody else. Enter. Ryan Reynolds and this Mint Mobile company. My husband and I had been talking about it for a while and we thought, hey, let's give that a shot. We love Ryan Reynolds. And my husband's like, he had to remind me that Ryan Reynolds doesn't come with the phone. I was a little bit disappointed, but hey, it's okay. He's a, he's a great actor, but we are both married. So I don't think that was gonna work out. So I had to kind of justify getting an iPhone there's been so many iterations of the iPhone. So I thought, hey, I gotta go big or go home. Mint Mobile was having like a holiday promotion and I didn't even realize you could get the latest iPhones with Mint Mobile, but you can. I have now the proud owner of an iPhone 13 Pro. Why I didn't get the Pro Max? I have very small hands, that's why. So far, I'm loving it. I've gone like full out Apple hipster. I got the whole ecosystem, guys. So I wanna talk a little bit about what I think of the phone so far and my experience with Mint Mobile because it's been surprisingly good. I was looking for the different models and it seems to me, and again, I'm very new to this Apple ecosystem. So if I sound really dumb, it's because I am. I'm kind of old. I, uh, the last phone I had was like a Moto X because it was offered. I think I got it unlocked from Amazon and I think I paid $200 for it. I've had the phone for three years. And in full disclosure, my husband, up until recently, he had been using the same phone for I believe five years. Like it had been over five years. The phone was so old that it, it didn't recognize emojis anymore. The system kept getting updates and I guess his phone like couldn't handle it. So if you tried to send him an emoji, he would not see the actual emoji. He really tried to keep it going as long as he could because on Republic Wireless, he was grandfathered in with the unlimited data plan, which they don't really do anymore. He got to keep all his unlimited data for like, I think it was around $28 a month. The phone died though, so he had to go with another similar Motorola phone. So, but still, I, we're both gonna end up switching over to Mint Mobile. I was looking at the prices of the iPhones and even the previous models, I didn't find them to be that much cheaper than the current model. So I just decided, why not just get the most up-to-date phone? I watched a ton of reviews on iPhones to figure out like what the differences were. And I wanted to get the pro version because I do social media for my work. This is important to me. And I use my phone every day for posting things or for taking pictures. And the camera on my old Moto X was pretty terrible. And the phone was at least three years old. I don't even know when the phone originally came out, but I imagine if it came to Republic Wireless, it probably wasn't the latest phone to begin with. I'm not gonna lie, this phone is expensive AF. I still cannot believe I would pay over $1,000 for a phone. I feel like kind of a sucker, but I can, now that I have it, I see why people do because it is kind of great. It has a lot of features. I don't even, I haven't even gotten even remotely that far into discovering everything that the phone has to offer. I know a lot of people are complaining that 
the new iPhones do not come with the wall adapter plug. And that is really annoying, especially since this phone was like 1100 bucks. I'm like, oh geez. And they can't even include a freaking wall charger. I know I'm probably not the first person to say that. And I saw the company's statement about them trying to like save the environment and how they can ship 70% more phones when they don't include the wall charger. I feel like that's just a front and they just wanna save money and cut costs. I get it, Apple, I get it. You're a corporation. You don't need to care about the little people. This is weird, it comes with like a lightning to USB-C charger. Like not even a USB thing. You have to buy the adapt, the wall plug separately and it's $20. So I feel like they're kind of nickel and diming you for everything they can get out of you. Now in full disclosure, I do have an iPad. So my way of getting around not having an iPhone all these years was to have an iPad. You can get like the majority of the apps. I'm mostly at home using Wi-Fi, so it's not really a big deal. I rarely talk on the phone. So I have had at least, I think I'm on my third iPad. I started with the iPad 2 that came out in 2000, I think 11, something like that. In full honesty, I did have a work issued iPhone back in the day, but this was about 10 years ago. So it was not one of the later. I have zero experience with any of the newer iPhones. It was like the very like bare bones version of the iPhone. I had it for work but I didn't buy it or pay for it. So that's the difference. So I had been so reluctant to get into the Apple iPhone world because I didn't wanna pay for the expensive data plan. If Mint Mobile did not offer this, I would not have an iPhone. And I don't think Mint Mobile would work for every situation. Uh, I think Mint Mobile works for someone, if you are at home with strong Wi-Fi the majority of the time, you don't talk on the phone a lot, I think this would be a good fit for you, but not for everybody. And I'm, I think I will, I will have a code to put down in the description box. The Mint Mobile prices are fantastic. And I have to give them props for having Ryan Reynolds and Rick Moranis in the same ad. That was pretty epic. I love Rick Moranis. The prices are significantly better than any of the major cell phone carriers and even better than Republic Wireless. So I'll get into that a little bit later. This is the phone box. Yeah, it is pretty small. That, yeah, I, that's why I guess they're not including the wall adapter. They give you the sticker. I don't know what the F I'm gonna do. What do you do with an Apple sticker? Like, is this like, good job kids, I don't know. And then because the other thing about it is the newer iPhones don't have a headphone input. So I was kind of forced into buying some sort of Bluetooth headphones. So I got a really great deal on Amazon on the AirPods Pro and it does have the MagSafe case. And then I got this Belkin MagSafe charging station since I was going to have to buy something to plug in and charge the phone anyways. So this was on sale too from Amazon. Again, I'll link everything below and it can charge your phone and your AirPods all at once. I know I went like full tilt from having almost nothing Apple to having like all the Apple stuff. I'm not gonna get the watch though. I have zero use for the watch. So I'm not like an athlete or anything. I'm not swimming in the pool, needing to see if I can get a phone call or something. So I don't think there's any reason for me to have a watch. And oh, and I also got a clear like rubbery case. And then the first thing I do with any phone I get is put a screen protector on that sucker. I got this, again, all, all of this was from Amazon, but what I liked about the screen protector set I got, it came with three, so in case you need a spare. One of the problems I have is that you always have trouble with placing the screen protector on the phone. So this one had this little snap-on guide thing. So you could put this over the phone and then your placement of the screen protector is going to be exact. And it was super easy. I read the instructions. I didn't have any issue. And then I got this case. I got the silver iPhone. It looks more white to me, but hey, it is what it is. So when I got the phone, and I literally just got this charging stand delivered five minutes ago. So I opened the box, plugged it in, and same with the AirPods and just wanted to see if they work. They do. The phone setup was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was really expecting this to be like an all day thing or an ordeal. I was porting over my phone number and I thought that was gonna take way longer than it did. It was really easy. All I did was the phone did come partially charged so you can turn it on. And then I used my iPad and it like copied over everything from my iPad onto the iPhone. And then I ported over the number. They make it really easy. All you have to do is enter 
your account number. If you're switching from Republic Wireless to Mint, you just have to have your number. That's the account number is your phone number, 10 digits, and then you have a four digit pin number. And I just had to enter that in and then apply for uh, like a request to port the number. From when I started to when the number was fully ported over, it was about three hours. And this was in the middle of the night. So it happened between like 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. So it was pretty easy. And it was nice that all of my apps transferred over. So I didn't have to download each app separately. You, It didn't really save the passwords though, so I had to re-enter the passwords. I got everything set up though so far the way I like it. Oh, and in the meantime, while your number is porting over, Mint Mobile gives you a temporary number to use until you have your actual phone number, but I've been getting calls on it. I also changed the phone settings to use Wi-Fi calls and then not use cellular data, so I plan to mostly use Wi-Fi, and then if I'm going anywhere, I'll just switch it back to cellular. I ended up going with the 10 gigabyte a month plan from Mint Mobile. For reference, previously I was on a two gigabyte a month plan from Republic Wireless for $25 per month. So this is five times the data, and I didn't even use up two gigabytes in a month because I'm mostly on Wi-Fi. So I'm pretty confident the 10 gigabyte plan should be more than enough. Now Mint Mobile offers three, six, or 12 month increments as far as what kind of block of time you buy your subscription for. There's a significant savings the longer period of time you lock in. So the most expensive plans are the three month ones Six month, you save some money, but if you pay a year in advance, you get a huge discount. So I'm going to do that. The 10 gigabyte a month plan, if I pay annually, it is $240 a year, plus some probably some taxes. Per month, that's $20 a month. So for $5 less per month, I get to save at least five bucks and get way more data. So it was kind of a no brainer for me. And that also made it easier for me to buy the phone because yeah, the phone is like ridiculously expensive, but I'm also not paying like $90 a month for cell service. That makes me feel a little bit better. Plus, uh, since I am a small business, I believe this is some sort of business expense so I can use this as a tax write-up because again, I do use this for business purposes every single day. I also do a lot of videography, photography, and I've been testing out the camera all include some footage here and some photos. I like the camera so far. I think it's super easy to use. I'm a full believer that the best camera to use is the one you already have. And I think this is gonna be really easy if I just wanna take pictures or a quick video if I'm out and about somewhere without being totally obnoxious with my DSLR or whatever. I also do have a couple other cameras. I have a few GoPros. Those are great for outdoor situations, not so much for indoor. They are very small though. And I recently just got a Sony ZV-1 that I'm going to be vlogging with. And I really like both cameras. I think they have different applications, but I thought, you know, hey, why not just get the latest gen, see what it's all about. If I hate it, you know, I don't have to get another one. I did pay for the phone all up front. I know some companies and carriers offer monthly payments or for you to like kind of lease the phone. I just bought it outright, especially since the service on it is so, so ridiculously cheap. So that's my current cell phone plan thing. I just wanted to walk you through my whole decision-making process. And, uh, but so far I'm like kind of a fan of this. Let's see, I haven't even opened these AirPods yet. Ooh, wow, they, okay, this case is like very like snappy. Is there a left, right? Like, is there a difference? I don't even know. So, okay, okay, yeah, it's got like L and R. These do look kind of comfy. I do feel like I was sort of forced into buying them though, just because it didn't come with a headphone jack. I think you can get some sort of dongle or something. Oh, okay, it's asking me if I want to connect. All right, I guess I do. All right, this is cool. So you can just connect it. All right. I really feel like the Apple process was pretty painless and it was a lot easier and less stressful than I thought. The last time I ported my phone number was probably in like 2011 or something. And I remember it being like a much bigger ordeal. And I was like, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be kind of a hassle. But it really was not a hassle. All right, is this gonna connect? I wonder if I have to have this open, I don't know, and the AirPods on. I'm not even sure. Okay, is this gonna work? Media control, okay, I don't even know what any of this means. But let me know, if you have the latest iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, what do you think of it so far? Do you have any tips, like pro tips? Cause I'm like very new to this and I feel like it's gonna take me for a while to figure out all the features on the phone. Even on my old phone, I didn't even realize for the longest time that I could take HDR photos 
or do the photo burst thing by holding down the button and then it would take a burst of photos. I didn't even know it had those features. They're very cool. And I did watch a bunch of videos on using an iPhone because it's been so long since I've used an iPhone. And also if you have Mint Mobile, what do you think? I know it's not for everybody. I've heard that it's not great for people if you don't live in an area with strong cell service. If you're not on Wi-Fi a lot, it might also not make sense. But for my situation, I think it'll work just fine. And for being such a low cost uh, cell service provider, I think this works out definitely for me. And also I can consider my cell phone bill a business expense as well. There's a lot of things if you are self-employed that you can write off and then you can work with an accountant. We're gonna see how it goes. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I know this channel has been a little bit random. I think I'm gonna gravitate more towards like some product reviews, home type videos, and also talking about personal finance. Those are the things I really like talking about. I have a bunch of other videos here on this channel though that you're welcome to check out. I also might do a little more vlogging around the Tampa Bay area. So if you want to see what Florida is like, I would welcome you to subscribe to Gen Talks Forever and let me know what you think of this video. Hit the like button if you found this at all interesting or helpful, and I'll see you guys again in the next one.